what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to make your own custom cold boot for your hand exploited PS3 okay so let's go ahead and get started so right here I have a some tools that I'll be using I have the boot sounds right here I have the install files here I have the pics right here and also I have the cold boot rename um, text right here and the RAF converter also the XFID for PSP um, program so what we need to do first is go ahead and op um, install this on your system so go ahead and install it make sure that you install it on your system first once you install it go ahead and locate it on your computer then open the program so this is how the program looks so we need to look for our boot audio so go ahead and search for your boot audio alright so my boot audio is located right here go inside a folder and then what you want to do is just click on down here then you want to select all audio once you select all audio go ahead and choose your audio that you want for your boot sound I'm going to choose this right here then click open and that's it now we want to do select we're going to select the starting of the so of the sound you can select um, any part of the sound you want to start but I'm going to select the beginning so I'm going to click um, set start then I'm going to play the sound <laughs> And I'm gonna pause it there and then I'm gonna click set end and that's it now I'm gonna do trim and as you can see it says remove trim so now we have trimmed the sound okay so let's go to configured now and you want to go down to right here source mono so click right here then you want to select convert to second channel stereo that's it click apply okay that's it now go over to OK alright so now we want to go to encode click encode and we want to rename this okay so go to the cold boot rename text open it and you want to copy the top one go back to the file audio then you want to just right click and paste that's it click save and that's it so now we can close this down and let's look if we have our audio here is our audio right here so go back to the audio converter again click configure go back to source mono click it go down to um, convert to 5.1 channel multisonic click it click apply now go over and click OK once that's done go to encode again now we want to rename this so go back to the cold boot renamer copy the second one now we can close this down now just go ahead right click and paste and we you want to rename it like that click save and that's it now we can go ahead and click close and we can also close this program down okay so now we should have our cold boot multi and our cold boot stereo okay so go ahead and copy these two or you can cut them put them in the install folder okay that's it now go back out okay so we just created our boot sound for our PS3 now we want to create our um, logo for the boot okay so go ahead and just open up the converter once you open it you want to find your your icons okay so search for your icons my icons are right here and I'm gonna use the courage click it then click open then you wanna click 
preview you want to you want to do show preview and that's it now we now we can see our preview down here we have the position you can position your icon anywhere on the screen so I'm gonna choose let's see I'm gonna choose center right right there now I'm gonna click convert and that's it it's done okay now go back to your pics folder and you will see this other folder right here okay so go ahead and cut this folder go out you want to paste it here that's it now go for your install files and you want to copy everything go out go to the courage folder and you want to paste right there and that's it so this is how your cold boots gonna look when your ps3 boot up so let's let's copy everything over to our USB stick so highlight everything copy then find your USB stick right here this is my USB stick my USB stick is formatted to FAT32 go ahead and just paste it right there and that's it okay so we just paste all the files on our USB stick so let's eject the USB stick and head over to the PS3 okay so now that we're on the PS3 you wanna go over to your internet browser you want to press X you want to press start on your controller delete this go to the ps3 exploit.com website press X go up to v3 hand go to extra tool cold boot and you want to run this tool now press X press X again now you want to press triangle you want to go down to bookmarks my bookmarks and you want to press X and you want to bookmark the page right there press circle circle again and exit the browser once you exit the browser press X and enter the browser again now go ahead and press select on your controller and you want to select the cold boot installer press X it's gonna take you back right here then go ahead and click initialize cold boot installer that's it we get successfully go over to launch cold boot installation okay and that's it guys so if the video was helpful guys please leave a like also share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in my next video